morning. You tune into Living every Saturday. It's Saturday. It's 9.01. And on a beautiful Saturday morning. And we hear to you every Saturday. The dark. Know lots about the heart and the arteries and all those things and more. We'll come back and give you some tips. Over the last few weeks, we've been talking about sexual orientation. And how do you react to that? I've got a few emails and texts from people. I'll give you this program as I do every now and then. You call me in 434-1771-441-790-441-791. And yeah, any questions you have, you call me in. The doc will be here to converse with you and guide you and... Got some tips and so forth for you. Health tips every Saturday to help you with a healthy living. So, huh? I'll be right back. Yeah, so, how are you doing on a Saturday morning? I had a good week, and what about you? What did you do uh, this week? Uh, so many things to do as we live this life, and the economy is hitting us, isn't it? <laughs> I got some health tips for you today, and every Saturday you tune in. Uh, remember we talked about green tea, don't forget that green tea is good for you. The people that can't take coffee, you know, green tea and antioxidant. The phenols it has in it that uh, kills the free radicals and the oxidation process halted. So, if you suffer, this is the health tip for today, if you suffer from your dry eyes, why don't you take a lot of seafood about salmon, sardines, and mackerel? You heard that? Salmon, sardines, and mackerel. They contain omega-3 fatty acids. The body uses uh, this omega-3 to produce tears. Among other things, it's also an antioxidant. So research suggests that people who consume higher amounts of these fats are less likely to have dry eyes. So, yeah, fish is good for you. And I always talk about, you know, trying to stay lean back, stay back, cut back as much as you can from the red meat and the, and the pork and so forth and the lamb and all of that. I'm not saying you shouldn't eat it. Cut back. Eat more fish. Stay close to the plant, guys. Drink a lot of water and sleep well. Those three formulas there, man, can give you some years to your life. So we were talking about, you know, you wake up in the morning and you uh, you have a beautiful day ahead of you, especially like today, a day like today. What do you do? So many things to do. A lot of you going out there in the market, be careful. Also, um, if you're in bed, sit down and listen to the doc every Saturday morning. Call your friends and family, you know. Just sit down and enjoy what we have to give you. Not only music, which is the food of love, but a lot of things. Everybody wants to know about health. Everybody want to know about, you know, how do you keep your body healthy? Because we all want to live forever. <laughs> so, yeah, we, th we said the last week that uh, you come out and you see your son and uh, with his friend and there seem to be uh, closer than they should be. What do you do? How do you react to that? And we, uh, people were very much uh, concerned about um, how do you, uh, some people have different reactions. Emotions take control but as i said you know you you love and you care and you show love and you talk communication is a strong strong force you know you're able to sit down and talk to your children and and realize that they're getting older and they're not the five-year-old and the three-year-old that you could toss around but they think too and our purposes parents to guide them. So call 434 1771 44 1790 44 1791. And if you got any issues, any questions today, it's your week. You can uh, call us. And right, Warren, I'm happy that you uh, had your surgery and everything was fine. And you know, I played a game of chess. <laughs> Life is chess, you know that? Oh, I like putting the rooks in the corner and all to keep them there. Have a little bit of pawn in front to guide them. And then, uh, well, I like to protect my knights. I don't like to, uh, give up the knights. I like to, I would trade a bishop for a knight. <laughs> 
But life is like that, you know, you place your, your different, uh, you want to protect the king, but the queen, man, I liked it. What about you, Ronnie? You play any type of, <laughs> you play any type of chess? You don't play chess, do you? Well, my son plays chess now, my youngest son. Mm. And uh, ever since I got that four-mate move from Richard Thornton, first up in Combermere School, I decided to stick to football. <laughs> Is that so? But my big, my, my elder brother, Joe, he was a chess Is man. Is that so? so? Yeah. Man, listen, when you play chess, you play life, man, you know. And I'm getting to the point where I'm trying to be a great, I'm going in the offensive, man. I get my queen out there and start attacking. Like I do play with my children, for sure. You do, you I do, do play ch chess with them, yeah. And I, I want to pick up a guy called Alex, and then EZZ, these two guys. Young fellas, you know, junior champions here, and I play them every now and then, and they whip me. But you know, there's one. I'm a doctor, man. I've been studying so long to become a physician, 17 years of training. But guess what? I, I failed my spelling test. I couldn't spell the word defeat. Hey, <laughs> only victory in your vocabulary and in your armory. Uh, God, I could never spell that word. So anyway, what's amazing with chess is how far ahead your opponent is seeing the game exactly like when you're like me you're just seeing the move ahead yeah, that's it and, 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 and you you got the l shape with the knight and you say exactly. okay if i go there if yeah. i go there but but they're seeing like 25 oh. moves down the road I'm anticipating what you're gonna do and they give and they're giving you one of their pieces and making yeah, you feel yeah, good yeah, yeah. So, but, then, but then on move 25 you gotta you gotta knock your king over exactly man. <laughs> crazy stuff no you guys hear that stuff no listen go, go play that game jazz no matter how old you are you can go on the net and they'll show you how to do this stuff it's good stuff we got a caller there not yet. Four three four one seven nine zero four three four one seven nine one. Give us a call. The doc is on. Got to call now. All phones start as soon as you call. The numbers. The mm. people start to call. Yeah. So, te good morning. Welcome, Doctor Sparman. Hello. Good morning. Hey, morning. How are you? I'm fine, Doctor. How are you? Not bad. What do you want to talk about today? Well, you this morning I want to ask the first question about the green tea you talk about just now. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Any brand of green tea is good. Yeah. Yeah. Any brand. Uh, oh. Started off these old Chinese uh, emperor. He just found this tea once. Uh, he was drinking hot water. Okay. You know, some people drink hot water and yeah, I know. I think too. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to. It's not palatable, but hot yeah. water is nice. It's it goes down there and wash down that. Uh, give you just like a laxative and stuff. It wash that GI tract. Yeah. But he used to drink this thing. One day, this leaf just fell into the um, in his tea, and he drank it. He drank it and, and tasted real well and. It's been, that's everything else is history. Listen, it's good for you. It's got, it's an antioxidant itself. And it's just, if you can't take coffee, comparable. So okay. take any type of green tea every day, one or two cups, huh? Okay, my uh. second question is, um, I always call to talk about my husband. He had this, um, he's having this pain in the shoulder. You, I think you remember me asking about the pain in the shoulder. Okay. Yeah, but now um, the pain is, uh, I'm using an inflammatory um, um Drug, okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's kind of easing, but his finger is shaking. Mm. Yeah, and so uh, it's like sometimes he's aware of it, sometimes he's not, and it's kind of uncomfortable for him. So I would like to ask a question: What is? What is the advice on that? Well, you, so, so the fingers started to shake after you started to take the anti-inflammatory drug? No, no, no. Not after. Mm. Like, during the same process. Oh, how old is he? He is 64, being 65 oh, yeah. in December. Could be a couple of things. I mean, if he's, he's got... He's a diabetic. He's oh. a hypertensive person. Yeah. I, the first thing I would do, you know, normally mm -hmm. in life in general, you have to categorize everything. You mm -hmm. think about the most likely or catastrophic mm -hmm. thing that can happen and in this case at that age group with all the risk factors you just aforementioned yeah uh, you think you want to make sure the heart is okay okay so you want to make sure you go and the, the cardiologist and get his echocardiogram and stress test to make sure the arteries are, are okay and blood is being pushed where it's supposed to go okay, if okay. that's negative then he can be treated uh, as you continue for the arthritic type of problem, but then also there's something called Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and so forth, where you have a lot of tremor mm -hmm. and so forth. A neurologist would help. Start off with the heart and then neurology. Oh, you can recommend one? Excuse me? Can you recommend? Uh, no, if you just look for neurologists in the yellow Homer? pages. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they, 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 they'll find it for you, you know. All right, Doc. Everything is there for you. Okay, Doc. Thanks for calling. Okay, thank you so much. Uh -huh. Doc, what's the difference between Alzheimer's and Parkinson's? Because some people speak about them in the same way. Mm, Parkinson's is 
uh, disease where there's some uh, there's an area called the substantia nigra um, in the brain is uh, depleted of dopamine and so forth so because of that there's a balance between yeah. as I said life is always a balance of forces so you find that because this is the, there is a depletion the, the, the things to keep your motion in uh, in a nice table in other words you got to keep it stable your hands had to, to move one thing got to put something got to pull something got to push if you have an imbalance you'll have a lot of tremor and that parkinson's you walk with a shuffling gait and and so forth it happens sometimes in younger people and a lot of times it seem to be a genetic cluster alzheimer's you get older your brains get smaller and then you just start to be very it's a memory issue most time the memory center of the brain is affected one of the most well-known persons with Parkinson's disease is Muhammad Ali. There you go, that's a boy, a lot of hitting and hitting the sub substantial Niagara couldn't take all of that. <laughs> no, but a lot of people who, wrestlers and so forth, they, they, they get a little early because of the trauma. A lot of, you know, wear and tear, you know. <laughs> 13 minutes after 9 o'clock, VOB 92.9 FM, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? What can I do for you today? I'm thankful for all women. Ooh, old no. woman, that's in, in my vocabulary too. I don't like that word old. Say it's an older person. But older could be anything, could be 30, could be 40. No, I'm 87. <laughs> 87? Yeah. Now, when you meet 100, then we are several years little. Yeah. Well, so I call you a boat. Please do. My fingers itch me in the palm of my hand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Why do you think that could be? Ah, it could be so many things. It could be the detergent detergents you're using. Did you change your No, soap? I I can't get around my hand it that more so. Okay, good. So you're having itching, is there any type of flaking in the skin? No. No, just itching you. <laughs> you think good, well, I know I got out right. Yeah, yeah. But I was running the fat right to get to your your the palm of your heart too. No, yes, arthritis all in all the joints in your body can be affected with arthritis, especially because my fingers sometimes it starts off slipping. Yeah, well, yeah. And that's I what's... just got to wait till it come back out. Mm hmm. And as it, all those are, are similar signs of uh, arthritic type of joints. Uh, but the, the itching could be something that you're touching. You know, normally arthritis and itching don't go together that often. So it could be something that you're touching. It could be something that you're dealing with that is called. I don't deal with that. And my, I, my son to do all the cooking and everything. Okay. What I would do though, and some hydrocortisone cream, write that down. Take that and rub that, um, those hands, and you'll see how quickly that itch will go away. I had two creams that the, um, I had got from the pharmacist, mm -hmm. but it's I find out that it just it still itch me. Hey, did you, did you, did you, is it hydrocortisone? Sorry? Is it hydrocortisone? Anyway, you go to your, the, the actual doctor for some, well, some doctor for some Well, he's the doctor who ordered the cream for me, or don't you listen to it to me? Mm -hmm. those, those drugs work for all those type of itching. Hydrocortisone cream or lotrizone cream, very good for you. And or you can take some tablets. Some histone tablets can take care of that too. Oh, okay. So thank you for calling. Thanks very much. Doc, there's a word which isn't used much in Barbados, but uh, certainly not in the same with the same frequency as arthritis. What's the difference between arthritis and rheumatism? Because it, when you're in England, yeah. you hear a lot about rheumatism. Uh, when you come to Barbados, you barely hear that word, but you hear a lot about arthritis. Yeah, there are different forms. Uh, you have uh, osteoarthritis, where you have the bone. It's just, uh, you know, on your joints, there are some cartilage around the bone, and that cartilage buffers the bone, so they rub against each other, and less friction, and your joints move real well. But as you get older, you know, it grinds away on the cartilage, and the bones start to touch each other. That's osteoarthritis and then arthritis in itself if you have injury to your joints and so forth once the bones start touching that's not a f form of arthritis there but rheumatoid rheumatoid is the one that is an immune disorder where you have antibodies that produce towards your joints and start to react to those types are treatable you can have certain type of drugs that can mm -hmm. treat that and really the flare-ups are you know taken care of so there's rheumatoid there's osteo and there's arthritic, arthritic joints and also there's one called goit goat as a matter of fact goat yeah arthritis where um you heard about goat goat didn't you uh, go to have uric acid levels are high in your body and uh, have, uh, affect your joints, especially your big toe. So there are different types of arthritis, but rheumatoid arthritis of interest, that one can be treated with a lot of drugs. 16 minutes after 9 o'clock, the calls keep coming. Remember, 434-1790-434-1791. Hello, good morning. Hi, hi, good morning. What's the difference between, um, uh, or define, um, bad diabetes? Uh, di a bad diabetic. 
Uh, you know, diabe diabetes in itself is effectively is affect this country is affected so much by that non uh, disease entity, and um, it's when your sugar levels are high, and it's normally supposed to be within a certain range, normally more less than six moles millimoles per deciliter. Um, so patients who've got insulin decreased insulin secretion from the pancreas, um, they're diabetic. And sometimes they need just medicines, oral medicines, to control that and diet. But when you go to the point where you need insulin injection within your system to help you, that's a more severe form of the diabetes. So when you talk about that, if it's not controlled properly, your sugar levels are very high, you need insulin two, three times a day, that's the one they call bad, especially when you have neuropathy, where you have pain in your legs and so forth, and your kidneys start to have uh, the dysfunction and heart dysfunction and brain dysfunction from the diabetes. They say, listen, this is a serious systemic disorder. So um, the bad one is when you get to the end stage. Oh, this last one. Um, I forgot where it is. This last one. Um, oh, I'm, I'm getting hungry less than two hours in the morning. Less than two hours. I have breakfast at about 7 o'clock, mm. and around now I'm getting hungry. Well, yeah, getting you, you, so you, you taking insulin? Yeah, um, no, um, just... Yeah, no, you, a green uh, that blue pill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You may yeah, need to. Probably, you mean, yes, you may need to cut back on it. In other words, uh, you, when you get hungry, mm -hmm. check and see what your sugar. Do the finger stick and see what your sugar levels mm -hmm. are and or, or is at that point. Mm -hmm. um, if you find out that it's low, you yeah, go to your doctor and let him cut back for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you ever so much. Thanks for calling. Okay. No, I'm going to come back, uh, you know, like my boy Gregory. Uh, Gregory is always there for me, man, you know. I love him. Reggae's, uh, you sit down there, guy, shake your head and just deep. You feel me? I feel it. Gregory in front door and I'll be right back. Yeah, be lonely and a good thing. You know, they said people who are married live longer than single people. Yes, you heard that from me. Check it out. It's true. I guess because you got somebody to share your troubles with, to attenuate the burden and distress. And you're living by yourself, you're looking in the roof and the walls. Uh, you tend to keep things in more. So, oh, yeah, you got your lover out there and things are not going too good. Somebody make a first call. Hey, honey, you know, I was kind of, you know, Angry. I was in an angry mood last night, and so many things going on in my life. I'm sorry, you know. Could we just have a little cup of coffee here yeah, today? Talk things over. That will, <laughs> that, that will cut your time on the couch from one month <laughs> to two weeks. Exactly. And probably one day. <laughs> Not a health tip for you guys. I'll give you two in one day. How about this? Eating bananas. People whose diet are rich in bananas may be less prone to high blood pressure. Besides reducing sodium and taking other health steps and so forth, eat potassium-packed picks such as banana, cantaloupe, and oranges. And this can decrease your blood pressure. Listen to what I said. Now remember, over 50, over 82% of people who are colored would be hypertensive. You have high blood pressure, so it's a big problem. Silent killer, of course. So. Get some bananas there and cantaloupe and oranges. They have high potassium and they'll decrease your blood pressure. So we're talking again and we're talking about, we got a caller again. Good morning. Yes, doctor. Good mm. morning. Yeah. How I, are you? I am calling to find out if you got an ulcer in your stomach mm -hmm. and your stomach pain a little bit, right? But I want to know if you got the stomach, you, the stomach, the ulcer in your stomach and your food, you're eating every so much food and thing, and you ain't putting on a weight, no, nothing, so it is suck you? Yeah? Well, um, the stomach ulcer in itself is, is a serious condition. Have you ever bled from it? The only the first thing. Yeah. You taking anything to calm it down, like alacid and nexium and those things that anti- Pump inhibitors, they're the drugs the doctors give you to coat the stomach so it prevents a lot of acid from formation, acid formation actually, in the stomach so it won't irritate that ulcer. Because remember the ulcer heals but a lot of times it doesn't go away. So you be you have to be very, very careful um, with what you eat and stay away from taking a lot of anti-inflammatory things like aspirin and um, things like, you know, naprosin and all those, Aleve and those things. Uh, they can even exacerbate your problem. 
but um, reference to your weight loss and stuff, you don't probably you probably don't even want to eat much because it's hurting you. So I would say sometimes there's something called H. pylori, Helicobacter pylori. That's the name of the bacteria that like to hang out in the stomach. Most times, um, you have a stomach also. You have that drug. You should talk to your doctor, talk to your PMD or your family physician about giving you a one week treatment for Helicobacter. Uh, pylori. Uh, sometimes they send the blood and just get a test and come back positive. But you know, prophylactic treatment for one week, you surprised to see how it make a difference. Then you'll finally be able to eat. But don't forget, stay away from all those anti-inflammatory drugs that I mentioned some before: napacin, Aleve, aspirin, and so forth. Okay. I eat a lot, you know. You eat a lot. I eat a lot, but mm. I, I still get it, but in one way. Well, before you had the stomach, you, did, you ate a lot also, right? Yes. So you just got high metabolism, man. <laughs> just eat eat a lot, but eat the right food, okay? Uh-huh. Nah, stay away from all the fatty stuff. Money, eat a lot of mono unsaturated fats, things like olive oil and, you know, yeah. things that are not very fatty and all the spoken stuff. Stay away from that stuff. Yeah. If you want to eat eat healthy and eat a lot, but are you, are you, are you, are you got a weight problem? Aware? Oh, you have a weight problem. A weight problem? Uh huh. No, no. Well, there you, go. there you go. You high metabolism. God bless you. But eat good foods, okay? <laughs> oh. God bless you. Okay. All right. Twenty-six minutes after nine o'clock. Think we can squeeze in one more call, Doc. One yeah, more call. One more. One, one more, more call. Because one to be good or last close off, guys. Don't forget www.thespermanclinic.com on here. Nine to nine thirty every Saturday to soothe your heart and to give you a little bit longer time here in this earth. Uh, good morning. Hello. Yes. How can I help you? Good morning. I'm fine. Just coming out. Got the crack in your neck. I did it. Was it like up in your head? And, and leave like when I breathe, not biscuit. I tell you, my head is sealed. Oh, you, you got a crack in your neck? Yes, please. Mm. And it goes up into your head? Yes. How, how long this been happening? It's happening about oh, yeah, this year. Mm. Yeah, well, well, you, the, the, is it, does it affect the motion of your neck? Like you could turn your head all the way 108 degrees or you can't? I think I could turn it? Yeah. I could turn it, yeah. It doesn't pain you, does it? When I turn it, it cracks so hard. And oh boy! And Why don't you get go go to your doctor and get an X-ray of your neck? And it leaves me with the, a sudden pain in my head. Yeah, there's a cervical there's a cervical spine. Sometimes the nerves coming out of there, and sometimes there's arth arthritis in that spine of itself. But the doctor told me that I have arthritis in the shoulder. Well, there you go. Well, well why don't you get it? To get ask him for cervical X-rays of your neck. Okay. And that will answer your question why you have neck crack. It could be arthritis in the spine of itself, okay? Oh, okay. Thank, thank you for calling, ladies okay. and gentlemen. I thank you for calling today. And um, this is coming to the end of my program. I'm going to close off. But before I close off, I must tell you, it's nice talking to you. Nice soothing you, these nice words. These health tips, think about them. You guys with pressure problem, think about using the banana and the cantaloupe, you know, and, and so forth. And, and bring that pressure down. Silent killer. We love you. We care for you. Look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Don't forget to call your friends and tell them that the doc himself is here for half an hour every Saturday to start your day right. I'll see you next week.